My name is Ken Caramelly. I'm a docent here at the Museum of Northern Arizona. And this morning we're going to talk about the longest period of time here on Earth called the Precambrian. It stretches from the very foundation of the Earth back 4.5 billion years ago all the way up to a time of about five uh, 550 million years ago when life on Earth began. So what was happening here on the Colorado Plateau or what will become the Colorado Plateau back in Precambrian times? The mural here gives you an idea. Not much. <laughs> because we usually think of things in terms of life. But this is before life really existed here on planet Earth or on the Colorado Plateau of the future. We did, however, have a consolidation of all those rocks that were laid down or created with the formation of the Earth. The heat that they generated has now dissipated, and we're beginning to see a more normal world like we might expect to see. Um, the uh, Rock layers have begun to form into the continental plates that we're all familiar with. The uh, plate that we're located on, the North American plate, uh, actually was joined together with the plates that will become Australia, Antarctica, and China. Imagine that. We were once attached to Australia, or Australia was attached to us back in those days. All of these plates came together into a supercontinent called Rodinia that existed during the latter days of the Precambrian. So we have uh, rock surfaces, land surfaces. We have the oceans formed. Uh, but what we don't have is life except for single cell organisms. The life that we uh, are accustomed to has to do with uh, plants and animals that consume oxygen. Unfortunately, in most of the Precambrian, there was no oxygen in the air. Carbon dioxide for the most part. So take a look at these little toadstool-like items you see here in the water. They're called stromatolites. And it is due to the stromatolites that the oxygen that would make life as we know it possible uh, we can attribute it to a function of these stromatolites. So what are they? They are mats, layers of blue-green algae, a cyanobacteria, that consume, eat carbon dioxide. The carbon part of the carbon dioxide is their food. The oxygen part, they release into the air. So over a couple billions, billions of years of these, of these uh, stromatolites functioning, they will provide the oxygen that was necessary for a more developed life here on planet Earth. And we can see, and this is another smaller stromatolite, you can see the multiple layers here uh, of the blue-green algae. This is how these were formed. Okay, So from this point on, as we move along in geological time, we have the uh, basis for life here on Earth, the oxygen that we all consume as plants and animals.